Hello friends. Face on the bread. Can you tell where we are? We're at Ohana for his birthday. Happy birthday. We got an Ohana dinner reservation and we haven't eaten here in a really long time. So we thought we'd bring you along because I think we've been here before but we've never actually talked about it. He just shoved his face with bread. Bread's great. Thumbs up? Which is why she started <laughs> It's a thumbs up. We devoured the amazing, it's like pineapple bread, like sweet pineapple bread, coconut, something. It's hawaiian -y and I love it. They just brought out the salad and it looks like it has craisins of some sort. Yeah. And then some sauces, or not sauces, dressing. But that is Corey's salad. What are you most excited to eat tonight? All of it. All of it? I'm excited for the noodles and the, like, the chicken, chicken dumplings or whatever they are. So good. It's like, look at our sweet view. Like, a nice water view. And then right behind Cory is the Magic Kingdom. And then over there, in the way distance, is all the meat. Y'all, I just had a really big moment. I tried salad. I tried this salad. salad. She makes me put some on her plate for her, so she looks like she did eat salad. A hundred percent true. When we went on some of our first dates to Olive Garden, I would make him put salad on my plate and then I would just like rub it around so the dressing was on the plate so it looked like I ate it. Um, some things like, I really like Italian dressing and she's never tried it. But she tried this and I was like, shook. Sure. So. I think it's because I like this like it's not like crunchy and it's not like watery like yeah, it like, might be the like the vinaigrette that was pretty good because like i think it's the only real salad she's had or like iceberg like romaine salads so like i mean if you like salad that's like the lamb salad so, so this is good that was pretty good now i'm not going to be eating salads every day but like i'm proud of myself this is a monumental moment and i got my alcoholic beverage so I got a puka punch. Can't remember what's inside of it, but it sounded good. And the people behind me recommended it. And then Corey got a Midori Sour. Okay, let's eat more salad. The starter bowl has arrived, so we've got some noodles, pork and veggie. Right? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna eat it but all. But they're fried dumplings, some chicken wings, and some veggies. Yes, the noodles are so good, and the dumplings. Definitely eat all of them before Corey can have any. He's so, he's so popular with all of his birthday text messages. I will eat them all before he has any. I'm taking pictures of <laughs> The shrimpies have arrived. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Very much. It's the amazing thing is that they just make a bunch of meat. They bring it around on skewers, like over at the table right next to us. And then they just are like, you want meat? Here you go. You want shrimp? Here you go. Um, I'm not a huge shrimp person or seafood person at all. So Corey's going to eat all of mine for me. <laughs> and he is okay with that. But I love the steak and the chicken. And then everything else in the plate. Sweet and sour chicken has arrived. Again, it's nicely charred, so it's going to have some really good flavor. Um, what does it remind you of? Mom and I used to go to this bento place back home. Mm -hmm. It tastes just like this. Really? Yeah, it was like my favorite too. So it makes you kind of nostalgic? Yeah, it's good. It's good. That's awesome. Me and Mom are like the only ones who ate there. Yes. And so the last thing we have is steak if they bring it around today. It does kind of rotate. I remember one time they didn't have steak and it was pork instead, or they didn't have chicken and it was pork. So things do rotate, but it's so We found out the sauces. We have a sweet and sour sauce and then a peanut sauce that are both very good. I think I like the sweet and sour better. What do you like? The peanut? I think the peanut's nice, but I think since it's already sweet and sour chicken, I would need to like douse it in peanut sauce. I don't think so. I think they go well together. They do go well together. I just like it. It's not like I was like, ooh, ooh, gross. I think I like the sweet and sour a little bit better, but the peanut is also very good. Alrighty, the beef steak has arrived and it looks so good. Look at that. Tasting better. Look at him. He's such a happy birthday boy. So the skillet is all you care to enjoy. Same with the meat. So you best believe I asked for more noodles and pot stickers. And our boy Al delivered with a full skillet of them. I don't know if we're gonna be able to eat them all, but like thanks, Al. <sighs> Corey started said, we are not. Look at this pile of meats over there. All 
shrimp tails. I had chicken and steak with a ton of noodles and pasta. You're a happy camper though. Yeah, but I'm gonna die in. <laughs> and just when you think there couldn't be more food, they bring out dessert. So there's a breast pudding with vanilla bean ice cream. Corey got a birthday cupcake and Rice Krispies. And I just asked for some ice cream because I'm not a bread pudding person. But it's all included with the meal. As well as you can just get a normal fountain beverage that comes with the meal. It's $52 per person. So we're spending about $130. But that also includes our drinks. Um, but it's been really good. It's definitely worth doing every now and then. Alrighty, Corey James. First of all, happy birthday, and I love you. I love you too. Secondly, what did you think of your Ohana birthday dinner? It was so good. It was so good, though. There's so much food. So, what was your favorite thing? Fruit shrimps. The shrimpies? I love the noodles. Uh huh. The chicken is always good. Um, what would you recommend as a strategy to get the most out of your meal? Well, Kendra always says that if you eat anything in that skillet, you're wasting your time. True. Uh, true, true, true. I disagree. Uh -huh. I think just now that you know what they got, plan accordingly. Right. As well as he was saying he wishes he had eaten all day to like expand yeah. his stomach. Get some salad in you like for a few, few times. Mm -hmm. It's like a pro eating strat. Yeah. But, like honestly for the amount of food that you get, the price really isn't that bad. Nah. It's nice because like the guy goes around singing and teaching kids dances. So it is like a family friendly meal. We've never done breakfast there. That's a character dining location. That seems weird. Um, Corey's not a huge fan of character no, dining. No, which like I get. Like, if I'm gonna go to Ohana, I'm getting shrimp. I'm getting chicken. Why am I gonna get Mickey waffles at Ohana? Sure, yes, I, I go to Kona for that. Sure, sure, sure. Um, what, 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 what um, is your favorite restaurant in there? Because we've now dined at Ohana and Kona. As well as we've been to Trader Sam's. I think Ohana's real good. Ohana's still your favorite? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kona has some great stuff, but like. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's all I got. That's <laughs> fancy it. But I don't have a great answer for you. I just like they have a ton of food. Right. <laughs> True. Well, thank you for sharing your thoughts, feelings, yeah. frustrations, <laughs> ideas. Alrighty. Well, thanks for joining us for Corey's birthday dinner. Woo. Hey. I love you. I love you. And oh, sorry. we are off, and we'll see you guys real soon. Bye. Bye.